Welcome to SST College of Arts and Commerce. You are watching SST Edupedia. I am Assistant Professor Varsha Savlani. Here in this video, we are going to learn the basic introduction of the research. The subject, this is for the, both the classes of SYBAF, SEM4 and MCOM, SEM2. In SYBAF, the subject name is Research Methodology in Accounting and Finance and for MCOM, the subject name is Research Methodology for Business. So what exactly the research is, we are going to see in this video. Research is the word which originate from the French word that is research, researcher means searching again and again. The word research means search for the knowledge. Okay. So research is nothing but it is a scientific approach. It is a scientific process wherein the researcher wants to answer the research questions, solve the problem and generate new knowledge. So how they are doing all this, solving a research problem, generating a new knowledge, etc. through a systematic and accurate way of doing the research. So it is nothing but the organization collects the data, analyze the data, interpret the same, make the report of the research work. So research is nothing but searching and again and again either to find a problem to a solution or to come up with the innovation. Let's see how the experts has defined the word research. So we will see few definitions of the research. The first is Redman and Mary. How this expert defines the research? He says that a systematized efforts to gain new knowledge. What is research? Research is a systematized efforts wherein the researcher wants to gain the new knowledge. The second definition is by the advanced learners dictionary of current English that lays down the definition of research as a careful investigation or inquiry, especially through search for new facts in any branch of knowledge, be it it's related to business, be it it is related to education, be it it is related to any field. If we are doing a careful investigation and if we are taking out the inquiry, that is called the research. The other, some people consider research as it is a movement, a movement from known to unknown. The things which are not knowing to us, we are knowing those things with the help of research. The other expert called Clifford Woody, he states the research as it comprises of defining and redefining the problems. What exactly we are facing the problem, we need to define, again redefine the problem by uh, Having the discuss with the experts, having the discuss with the guide, we need to redefine the problem. Formulate the hypothesis, we need to have the tentative suggestions, we need to formulate the hypothesis, that is suggested solutions, collecting, organizing and evaluating the data. We need to collect the data, there are the two types of collecting the data, primary and secondary. We need to organize, means we need to do the data processing. Like we have discussed in the syllabus part, that the five steps involved in processing of the data. We need to make it a systematic way, organizing the data. After that, we need to go for the evaluation with the help of statistical tools. So, making deductions and reaching to the conclusion to determine whether they fit the formulated hypothesis or not. So, we have tentative suggestions usme wo fit ho raha hai ki nahi usse wo solution mil raha hai ki nahi that is what the research means according to cambridge dictionary the research is a detailed study of a subject koi ek subject ek topic pe jab hum log detailed study karte hain 
in order to discover in order to discover the new information or reach to the new understanding that is means the research so everyone has their own viewpoints everyone has their defined the research in a different way but the meaning is same from unknown to known the destination entire destination from unknown to known is called research or finding out the solution to a problem is called research or when we are doing the investigation and come up with some solution is called research okay so what exactly the features of research in features are nothing but the characteristics objectivity what is the purpose why we are doing research either to solve a problem or to come up with the innovation or to do the modification why we are doing the research what is the objective of doing the research second accuracy how much that data is valid accurate we can use we can put that data publicly accuracy hona chahiye hamari research work mein because many people are going to refer our research work even we want to come up with the solution so there should be the accuracy in the research work systematic step by step we need to go we need to go ahead in the research work not like first we will uh, make a questionnaire then we will decide what will be the sample then we will do the analysis then we will not possible not feasible we need to go systematic step by step while we are doing the research next is logical there should be a logic behind selecting a topic the reason behind selecting a topic on what topic we are going to do the research then it should be free from bias we should not do the biasness while we are doing the research kisi ke favor mein aana aur uske favor mein bolna kisi ke against mein bol what the truth is what the fact is the facts truth figures we need to mention in the research work next generalizability certain things need to be generalized in the research work which should be applicable which should be functionable to all the ways to all the people in different scenarios so these all are the features or the characteristics of the research need what is the need for doing the research now a subject name is research methodology for business or the research methodology in accounting and finance in both the way why we required to study this subject as a research methodology because in businesses also in corporates also they want something new either they want to make a new product product development npd new product development or they want to reduce the cost so every time while making the decision in different cases in different functions in different departments they need to do the research so that is why the students need to learn how to do the research like in this why the business required research number one product development if because the world is very much competitive an entire global becomes a local so every company wants to produce a new product every time otherwise what will happen the company the scenario may come the company get shut down like it happens with the nokia in the year 2005 they were doing the business with their old product only they were not coming up with the modification they were not coming up or introducing a new product that should not be the case with the companies the company should come up with the new product development how to develop a new product for that they need to do the research what the customers want what is their need what is their want what sort of product they require in their lifestyle so product development for doing the product development the research is required reduction in cost the utmost important factor for nowadays the companies is cost which is the internal factor for the organization the external factor is price the companies can't change the price it should be a competitive what the company can control is cost there should be the reduction in cost the internal sources which the companies are using marketing makes decisions there's a four core departments in each and every organization marketing finance hr production talking about the first department is marketing so company need to decide the marketing mix 
that is four P's: product, price, place, promotion. So company need to do the product research, price research, place or distribution research, promotion or communication research. That is marketing mix decision. Next is financial management. Finance second department. Financial management is nothing but the sources and application of funds. How to collect the capital from the market? Own capital, owed capital, equity, debt equity ratio kya hona chahiye? Which the companies are deciding the capital structure of the organization. How to go for the ratio analysis? How to present the consolidated financial statements? These decisions comes under the financial management. Cash flow statement, fund flow statement, etc. Third department is HR, human resource department. How to make the human resource plans and policies, training and development, performance appraisal, recruitment selection, motivation. These are the functions of HR. So plans and policies, employee welfare, kitna sochna hai, how much should be the employee welfare, unka performance appraisal, kitna training dena hai, etc. All these plans comes because of research. The company should come to know where our employees are, what the environment has the changes. We need to give them the training. We need to coach them. We need to train them how to go with the changes, how to go with the flow. Then corporate image. It is utmost important for the business organization to have the reputation of the organization. So corporate image has been built up by the companies by having a good relation with all the stakeholders. That is customers. Dealers, suppliers, media partners, government agencies, regulatory authorities, with each and every one, the employees need to make a good relation with these stakeholders and competitive advantage. The most important, every business organization need to gain the competitive advantage. Now, why the research is required? Objectives, purpose of doing the research is nothing but to find the solution to a problem. If organization is facing any problem, to so come up with the solution or to verify and test the existing laws and theories. Like Dr. Alfred Marshall has given the theory, the price and demand has inverse relationship. The price and supply has direct relationship. Likewise, many experts have given the various theories like Abraham Maslow's need hierarchy theory, Macricot's uh, Douglas theory X and Y many experts has given many theories in different fields so to verify and test whether those theories are really applicable in today's world or not the third is to obtain information the main basic objective of doing research is from unknown to known we are obtaining the information the next one is to establish the generalization and general laws Certain concepts need to be generalized, general laws, generalization we need to establish. Why the researchers are doing research is to extend the knowledge. Whatever, how much they know, to know more, to know in depth about a topic, they are doing the research. To analyze the interrelationship, how the variables are interrelated, how sales and packaging is related, how sales and pricing are related and many other variables how they are having the relations to find it out that the researchers are doing the research next to develop new tools and techniques while doing research many a times the researcher come across and develops the new tools new theories like the theory x and y is already there while studying that the other theory comes theory z of the motivation of the human resources Next is to develop innovative ideas. Why the people are doing research? To come up with the innovative ideas. So these all are the objectives, the purpose of doing the research. Now what is the purpose of doing the research? Broadly there are the three. Exploratory research, descriptive research, explanatory research. What is exploratory research? To explore more, to gain more knowledge, to have the in-depth of a certain concept. The people can do, the researchers can go for the exploratory research. Second one is descriptive research. In descriptive research, the researchers are trying to find out the answer to all the five W's and one H. Why, what, when, whom, who and how. 
So all these questions we need to find it out the answer under descriptive research and last which is very much important which rare people are doing is explanatory research. Now these research are like the exploratory research is unstructured, descriptive research is structured and explanatory research is highly structured which a corporates are using explanatory research what sort of problems they were facing what is the solution how they come up with this solution in detail they need to explain it along with the certain uh, having the which they have the uh, we can say the proof what how they come up with the solution so by using the hypothesis they come up like in explanatory research by asking the questions they come up in uh, descriptive research also we can ask the questions from the respondent while in explanatory research it is most important we should use the hypothesis okay so this type of research is the later stage in making the decision explanatory research next there are the various types of research no doubt here i have mentioned just six to seven types of research like uh, basic research or fundamental research is written. Fundamental research or basic research or pure research means to purely having the more knowledge to extend the knowledge we are doing the research. Descriptive research to find out the solution to all the questions we are doing the research. Analytical analyze what is the cause and effect relationship why the price is increasing and how it is affecting the demand so analyze analytical research the cause and effect relationship we are finding out applied research we need to apply that research in our problem like many experts has given the theories now those theory whether it is applicable to our problem or not then quantitative research where purely we are dealing with the numbers qualitative research now there are the various qualitative research with the help of by giving the directions, directives. We can do the qualitative research also which is not measurable but we can with by using the various tools, by using the various parameters we can do the qualitative research. And last is empirical research. Based on the observation, based on the experimentation, the researchers can do the empirical research. Apart from these types, descriptive, fundamental, analytical, empirical, quantitative, qualitative, there are the other types also. One-time research, field research, laboratory research, experimental research, periodic research. But these are the broader types of doing the research. The researcher need to decide which type of research they are doing. Next is process of research. In process of research, these 12 points are involved in sequence. The number one, identify and selection of research problem. The very first researcher need to identify. Once the problem is identified, it is half solved. So the researcher should know on what topic, on what title they are doing the research. Second is review of literature. The previous past authors, what they have studied, we need to come up to analyze the gap. And there comes the opportunity of doing the research. The third is formulation of hypothesis. Hypothesis are nothing but tentative assumptions. The researcher need to formulate the hypothesis. Then research design. Design means making the plan or blueprint. Then goes designing the questionnaire. As I said, questionnaire are of two types, open-ended, close-ended. Nowadays, the researcher need to frame close-ended questionnaire. After designing the questionnaire, they need to decide the sampling from whom they are going to collect the data. Sampling design. Then collection of data. There are the two types of data, primary and secondary. In that, various methods are there of collecting the primary data, such as interview, survey, observation, experimentation, what sort of way the researchers will collect the data.
Then comes processing of data. We already we have discussed five steps are there: editing, coding, classification, tabulation, and graphical presentation. That is how the researchers are processing the data. After processing, data analysis and interpretation comes. With the help of various statistical tools, we need to analyze the data and come up with the interpretation. Next is testing of hypothesis. Already we have discussed in the syllabus that the two parametric test and non-parametric test, t test, z test, f test, ANOVA, chi-square, factor analysis. These are the various testing of hypothesis are there. After that, preparation of the research report. As per the guidelines given by the university, as per the guidelines given by the authority, higher authorities, or the sponsored agencies, we need to make the research report. And here the problem not ends. We need to follow up the report. What comes next? What comes the innovation further? The follow up of report. So these all are the twelve points. Which is the process? अगर process है, तो हमें step by step ही लिखना है, sequence में ही लिखना है. Process of research is also called it as stages of research. So these are the twelve stages are there in the research. Thank you.